Hello and welcome to the first Redbridge Sport Podcast of 2018. Today we've got a bumper selection of guests with me. We've got Alex, we've got Evan, we've got Harry and Leanne as well. My name's Ollie, um, as I'm sure you've noticed if you're a regular listener. Now we're going to start off with, what do you want to start off with? The Saturday fixtures? Yeah. Um, fairly unremarkable as far as most of the results are concerned. Tottenham thrashed Everton in. Tottenham got it? No. <sighs> Tottenham went all right. Pretty much Everton being bad. Yeah. Everton must have gone up to try and win, because obviously recently they've been, you know, sitting back at the Allardyce style of the play, thinking maybe he thought, you know, what Spurs at Wembley, let's try and beat them. It's quite a strange one to go out and attack though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Your first real, like, go out and performance. Yeah. Spurs at Wembley is a bit of a weird one to choose. Yeah. But it doesn't surprise me because it's San Allardyce. He's not known for his like manager of savviness, is he? Mm. Well, yeah, that's what a bit harsh. It's trying to define savviness. Well, like is it even how, a how word? Is, is, he, <laughs> is he like renowned for his decision making? I see. Yeah. He's got that earpiece. What are you on about? Yes. <laughs> He's with uh, what's his name, Craig Shakespeare and the stuff. Yes. <laughs> Sammy Lee as, as, as well. Undercover um, fan. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Kane uh, became Tottenham's. Highest Premier League goal scorer on 98. Really? Oh my god, yeah, that's crazy. One more than Teddy Sheringham. Boo, don't like him. Do you like to justify that statement? Uh, just don't think he's very, he was very good. Just think he played for a lot of football teams. Uh, you know, he had an alright amount of success, but just don't rate him. No, you don't do. Yeah. Um... West Midlands News, West Brom ended a 20-match winless streak. Uh, wow. Yeah, you were at the game. Was it a good game? Um, it was all right. It, it was quite a good performance for West Brom, but that's not really saying that much. I mean, um, they actually played football, which was quite like interesting. Brighton were awful, and um, I don't even think they had a shot until like the 20th minute, a shot on target at least. Um, but like the chances they did have were pretty poor anyway. Um, the only problem for West Brom is obviously the allegations of on Rodriguez because he against said bomb. Black <laughs> you smell, bomb. which could get him in. Did he actually oh, say? Is that, that the like definitive? Yeah. That's not it conjecture. Out, it came out today or yesterday. I saw it online. Um, I know he went. He went like that. Yeah, it was clear. He, like, he, he said he smelled. But that's just childish. Mm. Martin Atkinson did include it in his. Yeah, match it's report. CFA. Um, so that can be included in. But what's the rule on that? If it has been included, then the FA well, he, can he, because can't. he saw the incident and he reported it to the FA. I reckon they'll take that into account because the referee, like, if he sends you off for racism, that doesn't mean much because you only missed three games. Whereas mm. if he puts it into report, he might be banned for a lot longer. I don't know. Yeah, and I'm trying to think like, like whether or not you get a worse punishment based on whether it's included in your report or not. I'm not sure what the refereeing guidelines yeah. are on that one. But that was the only negative really for West Brom. It's good performance, good goals. Matt Phillips and Craig Dawson are really good. Mm-hmm. It's um, Dawson scored, I think. Yeah, he scored yeah. in the second half. Both goals were headers and corners, weren't they? Yeah. Pretty Says it all. Yeah, yeah, how West, West Brom. Brom. <laughs> yeah. It's still 19th though, so. Good. They need to be relegated so <laughs> Not fans of West Brom, are you? Right? Well, yeah, it's hard. Just, yeah, what's to like? Yeah. Maybe the fans are probably the only thing you'd like about West Brom. The ground's alright. It's a good atmosphere at the whole Train station. The train station's, the train station's yeah, good. They have classics. Yeah, that's that true. That's championship standard. That is. I don't think they usually have classics. West Brom are like. Well, yeah, but arguably, Leicester have clappers and they're doing alright. Yeah, but. I don't think clappers are a no no. Yeah. They're just very. Are they? They're yeah. good for like the town, <laughs> but it shouldn't it's not really. really yeah. I like that they're local. That's pretty much it about West Brom. Do you actually like that they're local? I wish they were further away. <laughs> 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 They've got one of the most interesting stats, haven't they? What? Their ground is the highest. Oh yeah, level. which is ridiculous <laughs> when you go there because it just yeah, doesn't. It's, yeah. It, it feels very grounding when you're in West Brom. It doesn't feel <laughs> very. Uh, Worst kit in the Premier League. Yeah. Tesco carrier bag. 
Is yeah. it the worst game in the Premier League? Like yeah, shit. the green one. No, they're not. Oh, oh, the home ones are fine. The home ones are the same. Yeah. They're so definitely they're contenders for worse, I'd say. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. All right, we'll move on from West Brom, Good. given the antipathy in the room. <laughs> um, <laughs> Watford, Southampton. Southampton are interesting because they're still languishing at the bottom of the table. They should have won this game. The equaliser was handball, clearly. Yeah. Even Deeney was um, admitted that in his interview. Abdullah Decore. Yeah. Not quite a of God, but. He's really good this season, isn't he? It's really good. got like seven goals. Right, it helps yeah. you use your hand to score. Yeah. <laughs> goals goal. The traditional <laughs> goal scoring method was somewhat rejected. Mm. But. Yeah, it looked like, to use the horrific cliche, a game of two halves. Because yeah, like, it seemed like Southampton dominated the first half. Yeah. I quite liked the Gord approach. Right. Got two goals because yeah. when he signs for Arsenal next year, <laughs> um, it'd be nice to have someone who can, you know, get. I was it. literally thinking about him the other day. Like, I haven't heard much, yeah, from it's, him. Kind of this season, like, does he it still play? Two goals this season, and mm. then he pops up with two in the Liverpool kit. He will. He's he's a very underappreciated footballer. He was captain in the under twenty ones. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. and he's. I think he's very much been brought up in the Southampton way, so mm. I don't know what that means, but well, you know. There's a very strong academy down there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's so. and they've got a distinctive way of kind of raising the players. But uh, other games, I don't really want to talk about Chelsea. Chelsea, that's the... <laughs> Chelsea yeah, what happened? I mean, I didn't see the game personally, but it was, um, yeah, you'd be thankful for that. It yeah, be awful. It's the third nil. Last nil. season, Costa is popping up with the goal there. Isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Last season, Costa is popping up with the goal. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like he's probably somewhere. exactly the same yeah. as like West Brom at home last season. Costa wins a game for us. Exactly. Like, it's one of those. Um, How do you feel about Morata now? He's going for a bit of a rough patch. Morata. Yeah. It's. I don't know. It's an interesting one because it's at the same time as Bashwai hasn't offered much um, when he's been given the start he's only been given the starts in the FA Cup but if you're going to make an impact at any point then you've got to do it when you're given a chance so I think Morata he'll, he'll he'll come back into form I think he'll he's... so you don't think that Chelsea should sign Andy Carroll on loan as reported by the Telegraph yeah no I saw I saw that Andy Carroll is the one in the room but I don't think he's a Chelsea player I, I think that's a stupid transfer because Morata's problem is that he can't score with his feet yeah uh, and Andy Carroll can score with his head as well yeah and you just it's obviously they're not the same player you'd much rather a Morata than an Andy Carroll yeah, yeah absolutely I, 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 I would not yeah, I would not advocate it's just like it's a transfer of Carroll Hazard would definitely leave if you did that but again that is all here so yeah, yeah. but um, that centre mid Bakayoko mm. he's not very good no yeah it's five again five the kind of the 3-5-2 three, the three, with three holding midfielders and yeah. mm. it hasn't worked so far and I don't know whether it will work because it's, it worked when Morata was scoring for fun at the yeah. beginning of the season. But, but yeah, no, I... I so you get four? Yes, definitely. Really? I don't. I'm, I'm confident that we'll get top four. Chelsea? We'll, yes. Of course you will. Uh, Why do you think we won't? Right question. I don't think Chelsea or Arsenal will get it. You don't think Chelsea or Arsenal will get it? Interesting. Arsenal have been awful this season. Well, obviously they're Arsenal. They're after it. Yes, but Chelsea will. Chelsea. I mean, I might be biased. There's nothing, given, but... nothing like happening. It's not just Morata. It's your centre mid. Yeah. It's your defence isn't great. Like, it's just all sort of going wrong at the moment. You don't, don't, you don't, you don't think that Chelsea... Think, okay. Conte's more asked about... Big trouble. Yeah, Conte's more asked about this stupid fight with Mourinho. And like a battle it's of words, tactic, then right? shine it on the pitch. Chelsea, there's no way Chelsea aren't in the top four. Do you reckon? But then it's not. So who's missing out? City, United, Spurs, Arsenal. City, United, Spurs and Arsenal. City, Liverpool, United, Spurs. Yeah. Spurs are three points behind. There's three Spurs, teams that have lost out. I mean, Spurs are doing anything. In my in, in my predictions, I've put down the Chelsea have come 
above Liverpool for third and then Liverpool will come fourth. I've got Chelsea second. Have you? Yeah. Yes. I have good I have a lot of faith in them. Well I hope so. Very optimistic. I hope you're right. <laughs> I'm happy for us to come fifth on the basis that we're winning the Champions League in May. So we're still going to get next year. So yeah, so I'm quite happy to sacrifice top four this year. That's a, that's a solid base. I mean, I would be yeah, the same. I, I, would, I would be happy for us to come. Um, I don't know, but did not sit again. But yeah, no, that's sit. when we won the Champions League last time. Yeah. Um, we did. But We've not got Roberto Di Matteo, so we haven't. We haven't got Didier Drogba anymore, who will score goals for finding cup finals. Well, we'll move on from Chelsea. And then see how Wednesday evening goes. But is that another competition that you couldn't care less about? Or? Well, because you're an Arsenal fan, aren't you? Sorry, I'm talking to Alex here. Uh, Carabao, 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 second leg of the semi final. I'm going to say this right now. My interest level in football uh, it fluctuates. To be honest, I'm not too interested in it at the moment. Like, I won't. Well, uh, Arsenal specifically, or just football? football yeah, just a bit apathetic towards football at the moment. So. You know, is it because yeah. Arsenal doing some shit? I think I'm. I think I care more about football when Arsenal or Crew Alexandra are performing well. Crew um, not performing well. Either. They're they're twentieth in League Two. No. So, um, see, I'm reasonably optimistic though because Shrews are doing well. Um, but you're from Wales. Right. Huh? You're from Wales. Why would you care about Shrewsbury? Because I was born in Shrewsbury. No right. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> what about yeah. if you signed um, Abamian? He's a, he's a horrible baller. Don't care about him. I mean, I'd be excited because it probably, you know, transfer record. It probably works on FIFA, but I'm not sure it would in real life. Do you so, think you have a preferred scenario for where, like, your transfers go? Uh, I don't care. It's not my money. Um, I have no say in it, so I can't really invest any emotions. Obviously, so you have no yeah, say. Yeah, they're asking for your preferred scenario. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's no outcome. Bear in mind, my. <laughs> All right, opinion. fine then. We, we won't talk about Arsenal's transfer policy. We'll talk about. I, I just don't care about it. Like Sanchez is going. Özil probably, if he doesn't go, he'll be unhappy. You know, what staying. About then? Yeah, I, I can take him yeah, on. It'd be so horrible supporting a club with players who just no don't care about yeah. the club. Uh, like, who cares if Özil is world class? It doesn't matter. I'd rather have you know. Yeah, I'm sure I was going to think. Example of a rubbish player, like I'm not a rather Glenn Whelan in midfield who wants to, like, yeah, you know, I'll put his um, body on the line for the club rather than having a world class player who doesn't <clears> care about mercenaries. That's all I've got to say. Yeah. It, like, like, from a fan <laughs> point, that is more rewarding, isn't it? So. Yeah, it is painful to watch a team of players who don't want to play, especially under their manager. Mm. It's like when Roy Hodgson was at Liverpool, like that yeah. was a team of players who did not want to play under Roy Hodgson. Mm. I don't even think it's Wenger though. I, th- I feel like it's he gets it. all the stick, but actually, when you have that group of players who are good players, they're experienced, they have to take some of the blame, some of the burden for the fact that they're doing so badly. Mm. Yeah. It's a bit unfair, but I mean, yeah, Wenger needs to go. I don't think anyone would argue with that. He is an easy scapegoat for the players. Mm. Um, Regardless of whether it's fair or not that he goes, he needs to go yeah. to change it. He just yeah. change the lap to the round last night. Wenger is a football philosopher who's been a football manager for too long. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's not he's not suited to the commercial age of the Premier League. I mean now that you're out of the FA Cup as well. Yeah, I just like he, he talks obviously talks a great game, but sadly his I think his, it would be the right time, right? Yeah, well, the thing is, I think he wants to leave on like a sort of a good note. Yeah, on a yeah, successful. Like, that's a risk though, because like he can just get worse and worse. Yeah. yeah like, then why? Then why didn't he leave? At the After end the of yeah, yeah, like, like, Why? Be. Why kind of draw it out when? Yeah. Maybe Sanchez. Yeah. It's not like Sanchez has only been unhappy for kind of this season or Özil. Like, there's already that. I have a theory. Maybe that Wenger thinks he'll die if he leaves Arsenal. <sighs> No, no, this is based on empirical, actually, anecdotal evidence. He can go Alex else. Ferguson didn't leave United in 2002 because he thought he would die because his dad did um, when he started managing. Superstitious. So maybe Wenger's got that sort of air of superstition mm. around his, his departure. That's mad. Um, because of inactivity. <laughs> That's far fetched. 
Well, obviously, it's not. I don't know if I could do it. So, but um, I don't know. I don't seem as a superstitious man if I think about it. But and also, if we won't believe they haven't got a top notch manager to replace them, like Paul Lambert, for example. Yeah, let's nice take so. <laughs> We'll talk about that a bit. Well, by all means, we can talk about Paul Lambert. Um, He's a rubbish manager. <laughs> but he won the Champions League in 1997 as a player. But that's as a player, yeah. not as a manager. <laughs> it's true, but you know, he might be... To be fair, to play devil's advocate, when he was at Villa, like, we didn't go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but well, that's a good mark of success, isn't it? Well, yeah. So who did we have after Lambert? We had... Remy Gard, uh, wasn't it? Was it? No, it wasn't it? McLeish for a year? I no, no. I'm trying to forget. McLeish was way before Lambert. No, La- McLeish was for one year out, and then yeah, Lambert was after for like three years. We- weirdly, we tried to play possession football under Lambert. Your, your team under Lambert? You we had 6 percent possession, but zero shots on target every yeah. single game. But you we drew 17 games. You had that time. good front three of, um, of Gabby, Benteke, and, 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 and well. Vyman. Uh, just, you know, it's good times, yeah. they were, in comparison. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, at that time, it was like, yeah. I hated it. I hated Lambert. I would always leave. Perspective. But then, yeah. now... But the thing is, I'm all right now, because it's quite fun when you're winning games, regardless if it's in the Championship or the Premier League. Mm. Yeah, it's... Um, but, you know, it's... It's been given a two-and-a-half-year deal as well, which I find... Absolutely astounding. Maybe he'll do well. I mean, Hulsh has done well, Moyes has done well, Allardyce has done all right. Part yeah, of that. Uh, two and a half years might be a confidence thing. I just think it's a strange decision. Bear in mind who else they could have offered it to. Like uh, uh, Graham Potter, you know, who's a good candidate. Well, I remember Villa gave him like a five year deal and then he was well, it. two months later. Yeah. Lambert's got a it's weird managerial career. He started off like incredibly well. He's in it's Colchester. Not, like Colchester and Norwich. And then Norwich, because he beat Norwich, he beat Norwich 7-1 yeah. as a Colchester manager, and then they hired him. Yeah. So like, well, you know, he just thrashed mm. us. Um, but mm. like left Wolves last season, maybe not because of... Well, I think they were in the bottom half of the yeah. championship. He kept them up, because there was a big worry. Yeah. But it's a completely different team, so yeah. it's, it's a bit out of perspective. Um, but yeah, I just find it an odd appointment. It's like it's almost like a relegation one hundred and one sort of. Every appointment seems to be odd now, just because of yeah. the lack of managers. Top well, English managers. Yeah, but there's like there's so little managers that are sort of seen in the higher regard, so it's almost impossible to hire. Yeah, them. but it, like it's managers that haven't always been hired because they were in high regard. That's just like a fallacy. Like, do you think like this? The, there's loads of managers that, like, Zinedine Zidane wasn't a manager before he ran his Real Madrid. But he was still seen in high regard as a player. Just because of the, as a player. Yeah, but, like, you know, it doesn't... Mm. I, don't, I don't necessarily think managerial pedigree has to, sort of, be the only barometer. So you're saying they hire him on the basis of his style will connect with our players? Or... I, d- I don't know why they've hired him. I think they've probably hired him because he's probably quite good at presenting... Like a plan. This is a so, CV. Yeah, it probably is. I'd like be Colchester. No, I'd be not a seven one. <laughs> yeah. But Kike like, Sanchez Flores oh, stayed what? at Espanyol, and they were going abroad to get him, and he didn't do that well yeah. at Watford, did he? He did all right. I think no, he, he did well at Watford, didn't he? Finished mid table. Yeah, final, wasn't it? No. What's this? Didn't get to the final. Semi final. Semi final. I have no idea. No, it's a semi final. Lost to Crystal Palace. Not Crystal Palace. Yeah. Watched the Palace. Yeah. And Pardew danced. Oh, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, he did well. Yeah. He did all right, yeah. And I actually watched him, his Espanyol team, in September, and they were bad. Bad. Really yeah, they're playing Barca. Oh, there's so no surprise. With zero fans. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah. he yeah. didn't. Why would you take yeah. it? I reckon they've given no assurance over, like, um, transfers and stuff. Is, I don't think that comes down to football. If you live in Barcelona, why would you swap that for stock? I don't know, you, you know, Stoke's an alright area, Staffordshire. Yeah, that's actually like, when I went to Barcelona on like a football tour, everyone else got Barcelona tops, I got an Espanyol top. Nice. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's good. You support the nationalists, well yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, you're a separatist. It was in like 2012. 
But it also because all the vast lands up to us like five million years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eighty-six euros or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like you'd be the sort of person to go to Munich and get an 1860 shirt instead of buying. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Good. Well, what's <laughs> <laughs> Kind of taking a backtrack there from Stoke yeah. City's <clears throat> fixture tonight against United. Um, to Sunday's game. Z- Start. What do we want to talk about first? We'll Arsenal. Start with we'll Arsenal. 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 No, can we just talk about them a bit more? <laughs> well, well, I don't want to avoid it. You to yeah, you, you said you were ambivalent. Well, they need to be covered. The moment, you know, yeah. they're, yeah. they're, you know, they're, they're a good, you know, big Chassis. club. <laughs> yeah, they are at the moment. I mean, we're relying on Hector Bellerin for goals. Hector Bellerin currently looks like a character out of Legend of Zelda. Um, so, you know, that isn't great. He also has the worst speaking voice ever. He's got a London multicultural London English He's accent. Got a Spanish accent. Right. Yeah, it's, it's that's quite endearing, I think. <laughs> it's um, weird. And yeah, it's just you know, Iwobi is just I don't know, Not doesn't really doesn't have many brain cells. Um Whoa. Well Beck, largely the same. Um you just want to ask some fan TV. No, because Arsenal fan, Arsenal fan TV, right, is based <laughs> on the premise, right, that their whole business plan is that Wenger stays and fails. Yeah. Because they it's make more money if Wenger stays. Yeah, yeah. Because they get more views. I'm not watching Arsenal fan TV if they went through. Yeah, if we, we, yeah, we beat, like, you know, we beat Crystal yeah. Palace at home 3 0. Oh, yeah. Look, let's see what DT's saying about that. Well, it's sure they interesting should to we, see if they're still negative. Surely, yeah, but surely they get money, their business plan is on just being sensationalist. If they got yeah. Wenger out yeah, they and could. they had an argument about it, but then great. But if they get a new manager to come in, there's going to be someone on there who's going, yes, this new manager is a saviour. If you put no one they get a new manager that, and then they lose, then yeah. they're going to be, why did you sack Wenger? So surely <laughs> their, their, their business model is not exactly very popular. They had Gary Neville on it, didn't they? Yeah, so they did. They're pretty... I think he's got his own like studio and stuff. So the geezers who talk aren't get money as well. No, just, they don't. Which is okay. why they decide their own one. Now. Is, yeah, he's the he's, owner. Yeah, of yeah as far as I'm aware. Well, like but like DT troops and uh, yeah, they, I don't, and, you know, I don't think they make stuff like yeah. yeah. um, I think it's DT or troops or someone. They've got their own one now. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah he probably. has like a vlog. Yeah, DT's got his own YouTube awful. channel. He's, yeah. got, he's got like 100,000 subscribers. Which one's DT? The one, the one, do you remember the Joe Weller KSI thing? Well, the, back the one that came on stage. Oh, did he? Yeah, 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 it came on yeah, stage. Yeah, the one that was like... Wait, is he one where he snap back or one where he snap back? Snap back, yeah. Does yeah. the long hair tattoo fella still go on it? Don't know who that is. No, he kind of just pops up. Uh, don't know who that is. Oh, oh um, Bully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> some of them do benefit from going on like yeah. other... They get they paid get, like, to go on yeah. other like... I don't know, like... Do they go on like Soccer AM? I know they go on other... Yeah, they have to. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but I just, I don't ever watch Arsenal fan TV. Yeah, just, if I was a Arsenal fan, I'd despise it yeah. in my heart. I wanted to destroy it. It's weird, actually. I've seen, like, most of Arsenal fan TV just, like, at Arsenal games. But you feel yeah. like they're almost, like, celebrity status. Yeah. But but, they're just, you know, they're just normal guys, you know. Ty is really small in real life. He's, like, four foot nine, I reckon. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's a, a massive I think you know, people don't have a... Have we like have a similar TV. Yeah, yeah, but is that as like shouts like Chelsea yeah. have CFC fan TV type thing? And that's no, and it well it depends because they like get fans to it's not like regulars like Arsenal fans. TV. Yeah, it's like random people just come on and say their opinion and then walk off mm. or like sing a song like um, that one going around. Don't, <laughs> don't sing it. Please. I don't want to sing. Cause it leave. But was that on that on TV? No, it was on Soccer a, uh, Soccer FM or something. Was it Soccer AM. Soccer. No, the guy started. They played it at Anfield. The guy started it on Twitter about two days before Soccer AM. Well, yeah, because I just saw the video on Twitter and I didn't realise. I didn't think it was a guy. Oh, was it? Yeah. It had a little pop of a guy. It's literally everywhere. Yeah. And um, West Ham was seeing it before they game. Yeah, yeah, James, yeah, James, James Collins. Collins. That's so wrong. That's, that's everything true. wrong with modern football. Yeah. Why is that wrong? James Collins yeah. singing a song. I wouldn't know that. If I was a West Ham player, I'd be like, no, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be disgusted. It's like when the Big Brighton players ask for Salah's autograph. Yeah, that looks worse. That looks yeah. like, what are you what's doing? What's going on? Is it potent? Why? What, what world is that? He's the best player in the Premier League. Yeah. What's, who? Salah? Yeah. 
<laughs> James how Collins would, himself is better. <laughs> how does anyone disagree with that? Well, <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, I'd say De Bruyne is better than Sam. That's because he looks like you. Yeah. And you don't like my. He looks talent. more like my brother, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, my brother like plays him. in the same position as him, so he just gets he just is called De Bruyne all the time in a football context. Should we talk nice. about Manchester City? Yeah, that's what I was kind of angling towards. Um, Take the floor, Liverpool fans. Yeah, by all means. I think was, the unbeaten run is over. My city. Yeah, that's one positive for Arsenal fans. Yeah. 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 No one else. No one else. There's a lot of negatives for Arsenal fans. Oxley Chamberlain scored. He scored. He (laughs) scored more goals for us in the last 20 games than he has for you in the last 71 games he played for Arsenal. Not not, not a problem to me anymore, is it? I'm emotionally removed from that situation, so (laughs) I have no dealing in it. I still cry as I'm then taking scores. (laughs) (laughs) Good thing, (laughs) especially for Palace. Palace. (laughs) How? <laughs> Why did you stay with us? We would have stayed up and then. But you're a villa, they're a palace. Palace oh, is better than a villa, oh, isn't it? That's fair enough. Yeah, it's good logic. <laughs> There's no palace in Crystal Palace, so it's kind of disappointing. There used to be, didn't there? Yeah, there was a palace. There's not anymore. Yeah. And, uh, it's just like a rubbish football ground. Yeah. It's really weird. It's on like a hill, so like part of it. Was it Sellers? Sellers, yeah. Part of it sort of. It looks really small from one side because it's sort of underground, but only because there's a hill there. Oh, is it? It's really weird. I've never been. I mean, it's yeah, and the away bit, the, the roof probably. overhangs. So if you're on the back back row of the away bit, you just can't see like the other side. <laughs> I have seen that view. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's rubbish. Anyway, back to uh, yeah, back to uh, the two best teams in the Premier League who faced each other yesterday. Yeah, well, good fun. And gave really everyone fun. the best Premier League game you're going to see this season, definitely. So would you would you say right? Would you say that? No, it was the best Premier League game this year. How many of the goals were incredible, flawless attacking? Uh, None. And how many of the goals were awful defending? Uh, I I don't think Oxley Chamberlain could be blamed on poor goalkeeping. It was far out, but it wasn't poor goalkeeping. Uh, I'm not not positive on that. Manny, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah is, um, so like you wouldn't call them flawless attacking though, would you? It wasn't like intricate. It was, or... it was like decent build up play and it was yeah. pressure, I guess. And then Salah's one came about because we pressed so high up the pitch. Yeah, the that thing, sense... we're not going to score flawless attacking goals we're not, all the time. That's not the sort of team we are. We will get our goals from pressuring teams the way we do. So. And cities were basically just because we, we switched off. Switched off. Switched off. So it's, it. so, so it's kind of like your like Liverpool's tactics pressured them into making mistakes. Yeah, yeah, but it was sort okay. of like that. I think it was Bristol City when they played Man City. That was a hard game for them because they actually came out and attacked. Yeah. Whereas when City play teams like Chelsea, who just part of us, sorry. No, no, um, no, no, no. Like no, no, there's no attacking no. intent, so there's no threat for City. They just keep the ball. So yes, we conceded three goals in the end, but. I mean, we got the three points and we attacked them and I guess we showed how you can beat City yeah and there's no doubt we played better than I'm sure Guardiola yeah. is on the training ground by now amending that problem right 100% yeah. how it is would have given them a day off yeah <laughs> yeah the day off doesn't necessarily <laughs> always come the day after games well, so well I'm, I'm not a sports scientist are we? I'm assuming you are <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> even so like, Guardiola will be working I can Guardiola. give you the reasons yeah. for why but so, is, uh, we don't really need to talk about what Guardiola fixing his own crisis in City, but they only lost one game. Yeah, there's still no walk to the title, but... And then they lost one game by one goal, but... Admitted they were outplayed. I've heard my throat screaming at the TV yesterday. This <laughs> is how good the game was. And <laughs> also to do so in the first game without Coutinho. Yeah. That's quite a big statement. Still yeah. four goals against Premier League champions, effectively. It's quite good. I forgot about the whole thing whilst I was watching it. Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing. It shows a lot. Admittedly, it's not the type of game we really miss him in. It's sort of when we play Burnley against yeah. like the team. And he needs to just smash a world in. Yeah. yeah. But the Ops can do it. And the Shadows can, can, can do it. Well, no, I, mean, it was the I think my favourite was uh, the Firmino goal because he actually yeah. bullied John Stones. He made John Stones like a little boy. And I like mm. that. 
just and it was also good that that wasn't flat because that's the kind of like yeah. shoulder yeah. barge type thing yeah. that like yeah. goes into the category oh you've seen them given as a uh, free all, kick against the attacker but I think that's a really positive step like, who's he think he is finishing like that mm-hmm. like, for me no, you've got so many critics how dare you just shit <laughs> yeah. you know, the post like you score more goals than like Lukaku, Morata, Lacazette every, everyone now uh, 17 goals or something so yeah I think only Harry, only Harry Kane and Salah have got more than him yeah oh, really? something like that and he's yeah. got 7 assists so yeah. Yeah. but like Liverpool We'll do pretty well without Coutinho. Um, I mean, it was a big win. And for the top four, man, obviously, there's still a lot of points to be played, but Liverpool are in a very good position, and I don't see why they can't finish second. Mm. I know, like, Salah's been the one who's got all the headlines this year, but no one's improved more than for me now this year for me. Not that he was bad before, just this year he's just a new player. Mm, goals wise, Firmino's fifth. Ah. Behind Sterling and Aguero as well as Sarah, Salah and Kane. Still need a keeper though, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The thing Why don't you sign Jack Butland? Because he's rubbish. No, I wouldn't take Jack Butland. I wouldn't take Jack Butland. I want yeah. um, Alisson yeah. from Roma. I, Very Roma. I think Alisson would be a very good goalkeeper. Yeah, but if I tried my pick, I'd have Jan Oblak. But I don't yeah. see him. <laughs> I don't but see him myself. I love Messi. I think he's fantastic. <laughs> But um, no, I don't see it. The, the, I mean, there is plenty of you know keepers better than Carrius and Mignon. Yeah, there's really. plenty of keepers better than Allison, I think. But mm. maybe not available. Don't doubt Roma players. Do you know what I would have? Especially when they gave us Salah. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd I'd have eleven Andy Robertsons if it came down to it. Wow. Well, yeah. Walk my way to the title. So there's, <laughs> a, there's a video of him. He sort of presses the left back, then he goes to the centre back, then he goes to the other centre back, then he goes to the like right back or something and then he fouls him but he was literally just running yeah it was in like the last like 10 minutes of the game as well and he yeah. was like yeah it's just, it was a very strange thing to do but the fans were loving it I was loving it like if Moreno had done that I'd have been absolutely like cacking myself I'd be like what are you doing Moreno <laughs> get back but like Andy Robinson did it that's fine I don't know if he's the solution though because we've had long term problems at left back since John and Arisa sort of played worse it's a very long time ago. Yeah, I know. And, but do you think like we've ever fixed the left back problems? Fabio Aurelio was quite good. Like Fabio Aurelio was good at dead ball. Yeah, and exactly. He wasn't a good defender. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Moreno obviously hasn't fixed it, although every yeah. one in 10 games is really good. Um, what was it, Ali Sissoko? <laughs> <laughs> There's a throwback. Good He's got the best assist ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's Suarez goal against Stoke. He got another assist. Oh, no, that was that against Stoke as well. He got like an assist for a goal against a waste. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who else? Joe Zemrike. He was good. Oh, yeah, good, good player. Uh, Stuart Dowling at left back. An amazing Suarez goal. Yeah, off the shoulder against Newcastle. Oh, God, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Stuart Downey had his goal at left back. Did he? Yeah, yeah. don't want to talk about it. Oh, nice. Here's all the, well, he had all the qualities of being a decent And Paul Koncheski. Yeah. Was, I think, was he left back or right back? Or he was, he was left back yeah. just after. He's a, where is he now? Billy Ricky. Billy Ricky. Oh, right. Billy Ricky, shout out the local team. <laughs> Love you, Billy Ricky. But let's reverse that shout out. <laughs> if you've ever seen the inside of their dressing room or anything their manager says, you would not like them. Have you seen the inside of their dressing room? Yes. Oh, really? yes. They did like a big expo on Sky Sports News. Oh, did they? Yeah, uh, and he's <laughs> the man. He just, he just, just, he just, I don't know. He's just Sparrow a bit. Heads. Yeah, he's just a bit. A he's a bit yeah, cringy. He, he, he made, he made his day. money. He's got nothing to do with football. He made his money in steel, in the steel industry. That means his heart. Yeah, it still is, yeah. But like, he made his money in the steel industry, and now he's decided that he can try his hand at being a football manager. Yeah, I don't know why. He's managing Paul Kuchewski. Yeah, yeah. So well, that that must be Jamaica, 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 all these Roman footballers. <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> They're still footballers. Like they, are. Football. they are professional footballers who are now. Well, they're not anymore. I mean, well, they're, they're, they're not. They're being paid team. professional wages, but yeah, it's a very strange life. situation. What league are Villarreal in? Are they in the Conference South? Yeah, like National League South, whatever. Something like that. Yeah. So. um the main panel is actually really funny because on his debut he scored a hat trick for Arsenal. Did hung over. Oh, yeah. It is confirmed. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember he? Uh, do you remember the story about his Porsche? 
that he left in Spain for like six months and then someone was like, you do know you've got a 70 grand Porsche in Spain. He's like, fuck, so I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's got, he just left his Porsche in Spain for months and like, I think it ended up getting like scrapped or something because scrapped. because it was just left like right. uninsured on the streets of Spain. Like, it was so strange. Nice. Strange man. He's also the football, first football to play with a prison tag on it. Like, yeah, tag on his ankle, yeah. Yeah, so like, well, it's like, like, like a monitor, like, where yeah. you are. Yeah, it showed, I remember the, like, the zoomed in picture, you can just see it around the time. Running rings around taking a bit of rookie. £406 par- parking fine he got from the, from the Porsche. Uh, yeah, yeah, I knew it. Uh, something, the something best money with. he's ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> something to do with Porsche. Yeah. <clears throat> that was another Stoke reference. Eh? Yeah. But Should we move on to tonight's game? United. Another Did Stoke reference. Did. What? Do United play tonight? No. Sorry, I thought you'd love oh, it. You no, I don't like yeah. Stoke. Who would play? Sure. Stoke. The Penn Stoke tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Will Lambert be there? Lambert's Imagine. in the stands. Yeah, he's going to be managing, you know, he's going to have all the players yeah. do the drills. He's there, look at the tactics. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sitting next to Alex Ferguson. <laughs> oh, I can't see anything but like a 5-0 tonight. Stoke United. United. Yeah. Well, like, why would Stoke win? <laughs> Give me one reason. Because they'll be galvanised. They want to impress their new manager. Yeah, but not if he's shouting. He's, he's not doing anything to him at the moment, is he? He's, but he's there. His presence will have the effect. When, when he did, he came to Chelsea. He won 3-1 against Sunderland. Wow. Yes, but you're Chelsea against you've lost, Sunderland. You've lost three well, yeah, so Look like what it's... happened in that season. So the word Sunderland a bit of a bogey team, Chelsea, for a bit. Yeah. I remember that it game. Was... Yeah. Oh, was what's his yeah. name? The American one. Uh, the Gucci and No, the striker. Oh, Jesse Altador. That's it. Altador. Um, Good player. Yeah. He Two was, he was, was the games. one that ended <laughs> Mourinho's... Um, I'm a bit of home run. Yeah. yeah, but there, but there was a, I think there was a game where Danny Welbeck was on there and yeah. he scored a chance. It was like three Danny Welbeck, and uh, Nedum and Lewin was scored that? as well. Uh, Two thousand and nine. It was absolutely oh, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone like drilled yeah. past that five players. Yeah, yeah. Nedum and Lewin. Yeah, I remember that. I, mean, I remember yeah. someone weird. Like you know, Nedum and Lewin um, opted to be a footballer rather than a, a sprinter in his early career. Yeah, the guy which is weird. Just, he's, he's only got about seventy-five pace. Yeah, that's the so still waiting for him to be this incredible England centre back that we were promised. City signed, didn't they? When City were just signing all the yeah, players. Yeah. yeah, it's like Fabian Delph. So yeah, does <laughs> Nelson Mandela have a Premier League winners medal to his name? He's still at City at that point. No, no. it's probably more like QPR then. Yeah, uh, you've got to make five appearances in the season to get your yeah. Medal it's not true medal. actually. It's you get a medal for free if you do five. You, the, the, the club can buy them for any player they want to. Oh, really? Yeah, because Mark Schwarzer didn't make any appearances for Chelsea then Leicester. Um, mm. Or was it Leicester then Chelsea? Don't know. Can't Chelsea first then Leicester. Then Leicester in, in consecutive seasons. Oh, yeah. And he didn't make any appearances, but he still got the medal. Two winners. It's yeah. going to be gutting when Coutinho gets the Champions League winners medal this year, considering he won and played many of our knockout games. Nice. Is he cut? Do you get cut yeah, yeah, for the Champions League? Yeah, yeah. Not for the Europa League, quickly. So he can't play yeah. for Barcelona. Yeah. So when we inevitably breeze past them, whatever <laughs> stage we get them at, Petunia will be watching the stands. Yeah, so probably right. crying. Uh, I imagine he shed oh. a tear yesterday. Mm. What he could have had. Yeah. Okay. This is what happens when you spend nine million of your own money trying to force a transfer through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, on the subject of yeah, he's, transfers, he's put nine million yeah. of his own money down. Right, so like transfers are good. Well. I think it's because yeah. it's because the club wanted to repay everyone who spent money to buy a Coutinho top, so they were using Coutinho's money to do that. Okay. Okay. Oh, is that right? Oh, that's quite nice. So Coutinho. He also he also like, had to pay. They wanted like a premium or something, and Barcelona wanted to pay it, so Coutinho paid it, and then Nike bankrolled the deal, so Barcelona basically didn't pay anything. That's like the thing. I don't know, just a recent story that's come up. I don't know how true 100% of it is, but the United are going to pay, or like they're going to make Valencia fans pay 
Oh, so yeah, yeah, we'll take premiums. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valencia yeah. putting on United fans tickets. Yeah, yeah, Seville got Valencia. Yeah. Sorry, Seville. Yeah. 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 So Seville charged United fans eight more than that pound. Yeah. Which is a lot more than charged Liverpool fans. So he really responded by charging the Seville fans eight nine pounds as well. And then as a deterrent to other clubs doing. Yeah, and then that money that they're charging extra, they're paying for United's fans to travel to Seville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is very strange. I think it's quite a good idea. Nice is, is that right on United's part? Because arguably Seville fans aren't doing anything wrong. Right? Exactly, yeah. That, that's the only comment, like you're punishing Seville fans. Yeah, but, you but then punish, that indirectly punishes yeah, the club. You punish the fans through the club. Yeah, yeah. But it's like on, on an individual basis as a yeah. Seville fan. So. Yeah. But like Seville should recon. Yeah, hopefully it'll yeah, like make them change it. Because they'll be like outraged from the fans now. Especially it's quite a good idea. Because it, it gets like ridiculous, uh, ridiculous ticket prices on the agenda. Yeah. yeah. It makes it like a, but yeah, it, an issue. Yeah. So It's yeah. like if. Because <laughs> Arsenal, Arsenal charge ridiculous away to the prices, don't they? Yeah, well, they like used to, they, they can't yeah. now because of 30, 30 yeah, can, but, um, yeah. Wait, did you not know that? Should have asked. Yeah, yeah, Premier League away tickets, well, they're all £30, really. I mean, like, maybe if you go, like, I don't know, a weird fixture like Huddersfield, West Brom or something like that, then uh, that would be a strange game, you know, it might be £25 or something. Oh, I mean, like, there's no other yeah. cap. Should be a good one. Yeah. Oh, is that the game you're going to? I'm not going to, it is. Why are you going to West Brom? Huddersfield. Huddersfield. Brilliant. Looking forward to it. To be fair, I'm going to see Villa versus Barnes in the south. That'd be That's good. Cool. Connor Murray. Yeah, you're working. Yeah, I'm yeah, working. James Bree as well. Yeah. Return to both of them. I'm going to see Liverpool West Brom, so I think I win. Congrats. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> is the most decorated footballer in. Football at the moment we're playing with Liverpool. Playing for Villa, really. John Terry's probably the most decorated oh. football. Messi. Ah. Okay, all right. In playing in English football. In English football, he is. He's definitely in and around, yeah. Mm. Um, is it not like Darren Fletcher? <laughs> or Michael Carrick? Maybe. Yeah, it might be someone Maybe. weird like Rudy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Johnny yeah. Evans. Yeah, that was a good great mm-hmm. there is not Johnny Evans. So I'm coming out late to the summer. To revert back to transfers. Look, any that you want to see happen or any that have happened so far that Riyad Mahrez to Liverpool. I'll be great, yeah. I've just but, read that the Leicester owners have said he could go. But apparently we've also come out and said that we're not interested, which mm. suggests that Arsenal want to sign him or someone wants to sign him and agents trying to either get a better deal for Mahrez or yeah. get Arsenal to pay more. Don't mm. know. Um don't want to sign Sanchez. Mm. I think that'd be quite embarrassing if he did if, like for Man City. It's an extra five million, isn't it? Yeah, like, but I think Man City just don't want to pay the agent is asking for like a couple million himself and they didn't want to pay it and his wage is like three hundred thousand. Yeah. Um but I don't know to Sure, you'd go to City where you get a guaranteed title in Man U, but people have said he grew up in Chile and Man U were like the team at the time, so he, he would want to go there. But would he though? Because back in that's where he's wanted to go, Man City. Exactly. Yeah, he's had it on his Where would Sanchez fit in the team tonight? <laughs> Anywhere. Like, I think it's funny imagine him. He'd be like top dog at United, whereas in City he'd just be sort of mm. like. That's why I hate about player power though. Like, yeah. yeah. Would you play him in a two with Lukaku though? He'd be so woeful. Probably playing through the middle off the car. Maybe, yeah. He's just like yeah. similar to kind of what has people, been yeah, People yeah. rate him so much. I actually like hey. Sanchez. Like, people think he's like top three in the Prem. He just isn't. He's not, but he's worth a lot more than 30 million. If you think yeah, Morris yeah, would go for 50 million. Yeah, but it's become, it's got to the situation where the money's out of question. It's just mm. whether he wants to go or not. It's like. I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised Ozil hasn't. If Ozil and Sanchez go to United, I will deactivate my life. <laughs> they, just... they won't both go to the same place. I think Ozil will go back to Germany. Yeah, yeah nice. But I mean, where he'd go? No, I don't think he'd go to Munich. Well, no, where else are you going to go? He's not going to go to Schalke or But just like United style doesn't suit someone like Ozil. Never played for Ozil. I'd, I'd, I'd like, 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 like you to sell him to us. It's not that. What, Ozil? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> that doesn't create <laughs> <career. Too> lousy. <laughs> I did, I did see we were linked with him, but uh, 
is these He actually two. runs long Sanchez on average, so too lazy. Chelsea needs to sign Schweiger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a just say yes. Um, I, I don't know who's. I haven't I heard Stay away from Scott Hogan. <laughs> Hogan. 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 I'm in the Hogan. Good player. Good, good That's team. That's not good. I stay away from him as well. What happened to uh, Danny Drinkwater? He like, played a game and he just disappeared, didn't he? Uh, he scored a will be. Yeah. yeah, he scored. He was getting stoke. Um, yeah, good club. Another stoke <laughs> reference for you today. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, he, he's still he's still kind of on the cards in rotation. I think it's right. Like we haven't played, um, we haven't played that three five two. Why did Danny Drinkwater up front? Was it Bakayoko? He's got to finish on him. Has Bakayoko played up front for Chelsea? No, he, he thinks he's played up front yeah. because he spent <laughs> half of his time in the final third. Yeah, I saw that. 49 yeah. shooting on FIFA. Huh? 49 shooting on FIFA, I wouldn't be sticking to that. <laughs> um, but yes, I don't know, I'm not sure who's on the cards for Chelsea who might be looked at, I'm not sure. It would um, be surprising if Arsenal were genuinely going in for a Bamiang and Chelsea not having any say yeah. in that. I've only seen one thing to say that we were in for, for Sanchez. I saw quite a few yesterday which I, about like a potential deal. But which I somehow think is unlikely, I'm not sure. Um, I don't see what Arsenal get out of that, having just signed Lacazette. Like, they need someone to be creating the chances with those or not someone to finish them. Mm. And if they can't score with Lacazette, Ozil and Sanchez, then I think that says more about the midfield than anything yeah. to on that attack. But Anyone else for Liverpool or not? Um, no. Well, we do still need a Coutinho replacement, but yeah, just we just beat City, so I'll, I'll let them have a couple of games. is fine. Yeah, happy with Van Dijk. Oh, I wouldn't know him with Van Dijk. Van Dijk's brilliant. He is. He, oh, knocked, just... he knocked Everton out of the cup for £75 million. Pounds. He's, yeah. he's, he's, huge. Right. he's also got a statue already. There's, so <laughs> the, there's this giant statue of him. It's literally like huge. Um, but because he was ruled out of the City game for an injury, they stretched the statue off. So it's just on this track at the moment waiting to be like put up. But what? Like, like, are you are you being serious here? Are you, are you made it, is that like a paddy power thing? An official. It's I don't know. It's probably a joke. It's obviously not official. That is just not, right next to like this. Well, it's not going to be one just no, it's being not commissioned like going by a club. But it's not going up. But it was just a such a Van Dyke being stretched off because he got injured. To be fair, it could have been last size and it'd still be absolutely massive. <laughs> That. We player. need a keeper. Yeah. Um, I would still, even if we got Mars, I'd look for someone like Lamar. Look. It's it's fake. But it's Virgil van Dijk being stretched off because he was injured. Oh, yeah. And it's huge. Who the hell's paid for that then? I don't know. See, I'm, I'm not confident about us getting anyone just because it's January. January is not really a time that we do a lot of business. Mm. Goretzka's the only one. Yeah, I love Goretzka. Um, He's on the basis just of be tempted by Bayern, I don't know. Yeah, you would be though, which is yeah. fair. And Lamar would only be in the summer, I reckon, and 90 million seems a bit. Yeah, for, for a French yeah. league player. You can always sign um, Jack Grealish mm. just to annoy yeah. the Villa fans. Oh, man, you need better Villa. He left on loan to Notts County, though. Yeah, but that was for experience. They yeah. loved him, Notts County fans loved him. Yeah, they did. I watched him play at Crew, it was very annoying. Yeah. Short socks, yeah, even back then. He's matured a bit. He stopped complaining every time he gets fouled. But me too. Um, Spurs? Do they need anything? Uh, who In cares? Carrie Kane. Carrie Kane? Harry Kane. Uh, <laughs> gets injured. I would say Spurs actually don't need anyone. Yeah, it's, it's got, weird. They've got a really well rounded side. Yeah. Um, so why they, won't, they, they should finish in the top four? If they mm-hmm. don't finish in the top four, Kane will leave. I think Ali will leave. Mm-hmm. Son is actually quite a good player, as much yeah. as I hate him. But I don't know, I think they'll struggle to keep Kane this season if they don't get top four. It's, it's not very nice because, so like, they love Kane is such a cult hero, then. Like, <laughs> yeah. but for, for him to leave, it's just, just like, keep getting top four, though, and yeah. they don't really challenge for a I think it, it would take a big, a big offer for him to I'm do like, so. He's seen, I don't know, I mean, obviously, this is. I just don't like the idea that it's unquestionable. But just because they don't win the league and stuff, he would leave. Yeah. Like, it's the fact that he outweighs yeah. his own ego to win the league once or twice over yeah. the loyalty of the Spurs. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure people were having this debate about Alan Shearer 18 years ago. Yeah. 
Like, and that, that Alan Shearer is like, that should be a proper role model. In terms yeah, he of should. That. Mm. You know, no one really cares that he didn't win the league. Well, the black player. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no one really cares. That he, they just care about my goals he scored. Mm. And yeah. the, what and, he represents. Um, yeah, like what he did in Newcastle. Yeah. Is like yeah, exactly. It's, it's a di- it's a different style of club to Spurs, but yeah, but it's still. Like in Newcastle, he's adored. Of massive importance. Yeah. Imagine if he went from Newcastle to United and won the league twice in yeah. his career. Yeah. He would not be adored now. I think we're forgetting how young Kane is as well. Like he's got so long to become a genuine like icon. Of the That's why I think he'll move if Spurs don't sort of like. I don't know. It's always like a footballer that always wants to challenge for the silverware, so mm. he could leave. And if the manager goes, because like if Chelsea sacked Conte, not to say they would. Or if uh, Simeone left uh, La Liga, then he's a great manager to bring in. So if he leaves, then Kane's probably more likely to go as well. So I feel like Spurs don't need to sign anyone because they're such a tight group. But because they're such a tight group, if one leaves, quite a few of them will go. Because only 24, like if, like not to bring up um, Sanchez again, but Sanchez is like 29. I thought he was 28. I'll Google it. Maybe it makes all the difference. Yeah. Does it make all the difference? It's not finished. It's only twenty-eight. <laughs> 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 but like, if you think about the kind of the like the thirty rule, like, I know not many clubs have kind of made an issue of it, but some twenty-nine. Yeah, nineteenth of December, nineteen eighty-eight. Boom. Recent. Sixty-two kilograms. Recent. Still at twenty-nine. Do you reckon you might have worn that? Yeah. Got to. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty-two. Sixty-two. That's, that's like, tiny. That's about. That's just under ten stone. To see weighs more than that. Yeah. Linda weighs about thirty kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. John Stone just weighs about fifteen kilos. <laughs> or Roberto Firmino just has for, massive arms. Or Sal like Firmino would have you believe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Is that? Yeah. Is that all our, our content for today? Well, <clears throat> thank you very, very much, everyone, for listening, and thank you for coming along today, guys. It was a very lengthy discussion. Um, but, yeah, we'll be back next week. Make sure you check out our other podcasts if you haven't already done so, but tune in next week and read the paper, which is out on Friday, everyone. <laughs>